Okay, so now we will be discussing on the first shift theorem. No? So we are still in our discussion about Laplace transform. Now we will try to uh, get the Laplace transform of functions using the first shift theorem. No? So first we will be discussing what, what is the first shift theory all about. No? So we have here f, d, f of t or a function of t is a function having the Laplace transform f of s with um, with the uh, real function of s is greater than tc then the function e to the power of at f of t also has the laplace transform given by this expression here no? so we have laplace transform um, e raised to the a of t f of t so i believe we have uh, we have here a bracket you know so it's equals to f of s minus a so with the conditions here, no? So in the real S, the uh, function, no? the R of E function of S is greater than the T C plus R E equals to uh, R equals the, the function of A. So uh, what is this theorem all about, no? For example, if we have a certain function, so for example, we have um, T raised to A T, no? then we'll have here the function or the have this one t no? okay we are going to get the laplace transform of this one so what we are going to do is first to d to determine what is our a no? so for this one our a which is the exponent no? which is the constant part of the exponent of our uh, exponential function is equal to a then we will get the derivative of t. So the derivative of t is what? No? The, der the derivative of t is 1 over, will be 1 over s squared. No? So the derivative of t is 1 over s squared. Then as s approaches to s minus e, so we will substitute this one to the value of s here. So this will become s minus a and this will now be our Laplace transform of this given function. So all you need to do is to find out what is our a. Then you just um, substitute the value of s on this or on our f of t because for the in this instance our f of t our f of t is equal to t. Okay. So maybe we have some example to better appreciate this theorem. So we have this one. So find the Laplace transform of t times e to the negative 2t. No? So we have here our solution. Okay. So we have our f of t no? is equal to t. Then our um, our uh, a no? is equal to negative 2. No? This point was negative 2. So if we are going to get the Laplace transform of our t e to the negative 2t so this will be equal to our f of s of our t which is 1 over s squared uh, as s approaches to s so this will be s minus a no but our a is negative 2 so s minus negative 2 all that will become 1 over s squared s squared as s approaches to s plus 2 so we just substitute here no? so that will be 1 over s plus 2 squared no? or equal to 1 over s squared plus 2s plus 4 and this will now be our answer no? okay next so we have the Laplace transform of uh, e to the negative 3t sine 2t no Okay, solution so what is our uh, a for this one so our a is negative 3 and our f of t f of t is equal to sine to t okay so for sine so we are going to have the Laplace transform of a negative 3t sine 2t you know? so the Laplace transform of sine is the Laplace transform of uh, sine function, no? 
So the Laplace transform, we have sine kt here. So the, La Laplace transform, the Laplace transform of that will be equal to s squared plus k squared. No? So our k here is equal to 2. So we will have that one as 2 over sine. No, it's not sine. Let's do that. It is s. Okay. It will be equal to s squared plus 2 squared as s approaches. That will be S minus negative 3. So we will have here 2 over S squared plus 4. So 2 squared will be 4. Then we have S approaches to S plus 3. So we will substitute 3 on our S here. So that will become 2 over um, S plus 3 squared plus 4. So we just expand this one so that will become 2 over s plus 6 s plus 9 plus 4 and that now will become 2 over s squared plus 6 s plus 13 no? and this will now be our answer for the plus transform of t to the negative 3 t sine 2 t Okay, next, we have the Laplace transform of e to the negative t cosine 2t, uh, solution, so our a for this one is negative 1, uh, and our f of t is equal to cosine 2t, so the Laplace transform of cosine t, t uh, we are going to get a Laplace transform of that. That will be equal to S over S squared plus K squared. So from this one, our K is equal to 2. No? So the Laplace transform of E to the negative T cosine 2T is equal to S over S squared plus 2 squared as S approaches to S I believe this is not negative 1. No? That, this is not negative. Okay, that is negative 1. No? Let's check first. Okay, negative. Okay, so negative. S minus negative 1. No? Then we have S over S squared plus 2 squared. So we just make that one as 4. No? 2 squared equals to 4. As S approaches to S plus 1. So we just substitute the... Uh, s plus 1 as the value of s. So we have s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 4. So we will have s plus 1 over s squared plus 2 s plus 1 plus 4. Or this will be equal to s plus 1 over s squared plus 2 s plus 5. And this will now be our answer. Okay, so I believe that will be all for this discussion on the first shape chewing. So the very important is that we need to find, for this one, we just need to find our f of t, no? the function f of t and our a, and get the f of s or the Laplace transform of our f of t, then substitute the value of s on our uh, Laplace transform, no? um, as s approaches to s minus a no? so that will become the s minus a we just uh, substitute that one to our laplace trans our laplace transform of our f of t no? so you need to find the f of t get the f of s then substitute s sub substitute the value of s into with s minus a so that is how we are going to use the first Okay, so I hope you understand something in this video and as always enjoy learning.